Here's a quick first look at the Lamy Ideos. I hope I'm saying that right. This is a new pen for 2021, and it has this really distinct teardrop shape that doesn't make sense until you really hold the pen, but it makes the whole pen its own roll stop, even though it does have a, a clip. The clip is very nice, spring-loaded. Pops up pretty far, really nicely polished. The end looks a lot like the Lamy Accent, whose posting mechanism is probably my favorite of all the Lamy's. It just clicks on there very easily with not a lot of effort and feels super secure. Really satisfying kind of cushioned click there. So I was looking forward to seeing if the Ideos would have the same experience despite its teardrop cross-section. It's a click cap or pull cap and it clicks closed pretty nicely. There's a little give in the shape that if uh, you're a little OCD, those things getting out of alignment might bother you. You can always just kind of run your finger across it and it smooths right out and then it seems to stay reasonably straight, but I feel like every once in a while I'm going to look down at the pen on my desk and it's going to be out of alignment and it's going to bug the heck out of me. But uh, small price to pay for this really distinctive design. But let me give you another look at this section, which to me is very reminiscent of the Lamy uh, Studio. I've got one of those here. So the Studio, most of the models have that same polished section, which is what we've got here, but with the teardrop profile. So right at the top, you can see right at, above the nib, it comes to a point, which is like, it's got this weird sort of chunky, well, I'll hold it in front of a light background, chunky look from the side, whereas from the top, it's perfectly cylindrical. And this makes it a really subtle, uh, nice, guide for where your grip should be. And that, to me, is very reminiscent of the Lamy Safari, which has the same kind of place for your fingers, that if your fingers don't happen to go there, you're going to hate this pen. But if they do, I actually find this is possibly the most comfortable Lamy pen I have ever held, which is a big statement, I know. But um, yeah, it feels great. If you're the kind of person whose fingers stick to this polished metal chrome like mine do, then, then you'll be happy. If you find them slippery, I don't know, maybe the shape will be enough to give you some grip. Also at the end there is that, uh, that disti distinctive new nib shape that came on the Lamy Aeon. It's a rounded, uh, profile that I think looks really great on both these pens, but maybe even better on the Ideos than it did on the Aeon. And although this, this nib looks great, it is, in my experience, less flexible, less bouncy than the standard Lamy nibs. There's just more metal, so it's if you like a nail that has no give, then you'll like this nib better. But if you're like me and you like some bounce, you'll, you'll like the writing experience less, even though I like the look more. So let's take a look at this posting mechanism. Here we go, the moment of truth. Ooh. Oh, that took some, that took some, oh yeah. So it takes some effort to get on there. I tried this earlier and it was even harder. So my feeling is that this is probably like, out of the box, it's very stiff and it's already loosening up for me, which is nice. But it has le much less of a click when it goes on. It feels much more like these little nubs are just frictioning against a flat surface on the inside of the cap, which is probably right. So there's much less of an actual like kind of clicky mechanism here than there is in the accent. Even though the look is the same, the feel is very different. That, that kind of... There's kind of a chalky kind of slide into place there. And then once it's posted, um, the, the cap is very light. It's a very thin metal around the inside there. Um, so I think you could write with this posted very comfortably. 
It doesn't feel too back heavy. It looks a little weird, like it's really long uh, if you hold it in any realistic way. But um, if you have nowhere to put your cap, I think that's as good a place as any and it won't hinder the writing experience. But holding it without a cap, oh, that balances even better. Like that, that feels like an extension of my hand. Like that, that pen disappears to me in my grip. I don't, like it, it, I don't feel like I would get sore writing this for, with this for long periods. It's just so nice and light. And oh, the, the satin finish here and the, the grip are really great. Um, so when we open it up, you twist, and unlike most Lamy pens, there's no threads, actually. It just kind of clicks and turns, and it's uh, like a lug nut sort of situation here. So it opens very quickly, and then a standard Lamy Z26, Z27 converter or cartridge will go in there. Um, yeah. And uh, here's something else I wondered that I tried earlier. Um, there are two lugs there, so you can actually, you can put the section on wrong and have the uh, the teardrop profile go the wrong way. Um, it doesn't seem to do the pen any harm, and it's obviously wrong when you do it. You just get used to putting it on at this quarter turn here, and then it's in place. And that is, unlike the cap, that is very firm. That's not moving on me, so it won't jiggle in my grip while I write. Um, yeah, that has a very slight click, just enough that you'll feel it when you twist it. Um, but I don't know. This pen has a lot going for it. It is so unique. It's it's the kind of thing I worry it's going to be so polarizing that no one, no one who is shopping for a pen is going to choose this one. But if you want a pen that looks like nothing else out there, Maybe there's enough demand for that. Certainly for me as a crazy Lamy collector, I just love that the Ideos is a blend of the studio with its shiny section and satisfying click cap, the Aeon with its unique nib, sh nib shape, the Accent which it, with, its, uh, with its posting mechanism, although the look is the same, the feel is quite different, but it looks like it's part of the same family, right? And then the classic Safari or All-Star with its triangular grip section that guides your fingers to where they need to be to hold that nib straight on the page. And for my money, even though I like the Safari and All-Star, I love the feel of this section in my hand. I cannot wait to ink this up and write with it. I think it, short of a Lamy 2000 or one of their really premium nibs, which I could put on this, uh, this might be going to my the top of my list of favorites from Lamy. So there you go, the Ideos. Um, I don't know how many of them they're gonna sell, but I'm so glad they made it, and I'm so glad I have one.